Bobby! Bobby, we got college football tomorrow. I, uh... I think that a lot of the people who used to watch this stream are going to be very focused on the main game tomorrow because everybody for some reason is from Florida. Ugh. Oh. I'll let you see if you guys can figure out what uh, what's going to be different about this dynasty as I try to figure out some other stuff. It's it'll it's pretty obvious. It's not going to be the most difficult thing. But it'll work. You know, I went back earlier today, uh, and I uh, I rewatched one of the last games that we did, and yeah, we're going tall players. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how tall they can get, and we'll set up our recruiting board now just because we're gonna have to do it eventually. Um, I think that the tallest that you can get <laughs> is. Six eight. If you look at the height, which, thank God, compared to the JUCO, it's going to be so easy to find the players that we're looking for. The height it shows that they can go up to seven feet. Um, but the highest I've ever seen is six eight. So if if they can get like six nine, that would be great. Um, and there's I think going to be enough players for us to do what we need to. Our wide receiver core is going to be a lot of tight ends, and uh, I just gotta. I, I hope that we can find some like truly gargantuan men. Um, we're gonna give out our captainship based on height, and we might have to make a player that's that tall. Um, our coach, for no reason other than it's hilarious. His name is Sky Woolworth. He graduated from Utah State. Um, I think it's the player's name. <laughs> and we are on Heisman difficulty for this. Ooh, this guy's actually interested. Good old two stars. Oh man, what's going on? Heisman difficulty, slow coach progression. Not slow as not normal, just slow. And we're in the Mountain West. We got all 35. The scouting will be slow at first. That's where we're going to put our, our first uh, few things into. Our first few levels. We'll just go ahead and sort. <laughs> Can I sort by height here? No. <laughs> we'll go by overall, I guess, and see... Who knows? Maybe we can sway a guy. He goes up to 81. That's one, one hell of a tight end. That could be good. Um, I thought about doing it, but didn't. So our um, our core group of guys at this point are not at our height requirements. We're going to say that the program existed in the past, but when Sky Woolworth came in as the head coach, he, he instituted his height requirements. So anybody who is too short has been grandfathered in and will slowly see these little midgets, uh, I don't know if I can say that, these short kings uh, age out of our system. And I'm kind of hoping that just by having a ton of height, all our corners and safeties and tight ends and receivers can just be incredible. Um, I 
don't know what team they replaced this with. It took me a while to find, and, and I honestly didn't check it today to double check because I, I downloaded this Western Arizona team a while ago. But it took me a while to find something that would work for this. Um, I am when redshirting these guys. Can I look at height here? No. Well, we're going to go through and we're just going to redshirt anybody that we can that meets our height requirements just to keep them for a little bit longer. 6'7 redshirt freshman. He'll get some playing time later on in his career. 5'10. Just wait. Well, eventually all our kickers will be able to dunk. See, these guys are all so short. It's just disgusting. <laughs> uh, nobody to redshirt. I want to get them out of here if they're not tall. Depth chart. I guess we can mess around with. I want to say it doesn't matter to me, but... We can at least look at what we have. Uh, definitely going with the speed and acceleration out of RJ Huff. Uh, true freshman as our running back. <laughs> it's some sort of ball. <laughs> We're trying to go to the to March Madness right now. I don't know what you're talking about. 87 overall for a freshman fullback is really good. So our, our backfield is... He's really young. Redshirt freshman at the quarterback. Apparently, is everybody freshman and sophomores on this team? Oh, well, this could be interesting. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Uh, Well, that's how that works, I guess. We'll set our schedule. I want to go a little bit crazy. We'll throw... I mean, heck, who is... Uh, we'll probably throw in some Florida schools here. Like, I don't want to play North Carolina if we have an option at a, at a real Florida school. Like Florida, week, week two, number eight. And then we'll try to pick up Miami as well. <laughs> hey, I don't know the rules on that. Arkansas, I'm sure that we can trade out for maybe Miami if they're available. And then our final out-of-conference game, I'm thinking... Arizona or Hawaii, so I don't know why I went to the bottom of the list, but Arizona's not available, Hawaii's not available. We'll go by a week there and see if they're available in week one. We have Arizona. Do we have Hawaii? Hawaii as our kind of easier out of conference game would be nice, but they're not available, so we're going to have to deal with uh, Kevin Sumlin's Wildcats. And it kind of fits, I guess. We are Western Arizona after all. Uh, I don't even know what city we're in, to be honest. Can I? Yeah, I have no idea where we're located. So. Who knows? But it's going to be an in-state battle for the new FBS team. Save our ch changes there and uh, just start the season. Start playing the game. I played... One, um, like practice game a little bit ago, it was Oregon versus Auburn, and things went all right. I threw a lot of picks, which is like completely typical. I'm glad to know that I haven't changed in that. Um, I had terrible defense, so good to know I haven't changed there. Actually, I guess with the with the family Rattlers, all we had going for us was defense. July eighth. The hell is this? Whew. 
Man, this is taking a while to load in. I'm really curious to see uh, how Coach Woolworth will be able to handle this. Uh, we'll, we'll save our recruiting. So we'll save the, the finding of the, the long boys for after we likely get stomped by Arizona. You know, I need to make a change real quick here. I'm just now realizing... I feel like we... I have the Gorge University playbook right now. And we'll, we'll keep it for now. But once we start getting the taller guys in, I think I want to go to maybe more of an air raid. You know, that that's typically where height is most useful on offense. So if we have a super tall um, squad, as we check out the uniforms for the first time, the giraffes. Beautiful giraffe colors for the home and the away. I don't know if we have any alternates. We have an alternate helmet that is brown. The Alt-1 jersey is... Ooh, I like that. And the Alt-2 is a nice away compared to the other away. We will just be wearing our standards aways for now. As I believe the, the other pants are just a brown. Uh, so... Our home games, we will look kind of like giraffes. Beautiful. 84 overall. That'll probably go down um, after this season or once these guys <laughs> start to go out. I might have to. Uh, I might have to do some editing of the players to get this into our vision a little bit quicker. I didn't realize that we only had freshmen and sophomores, so... It'll be interesting. Well, that sucks. We're gonna... Well, then, I'll, uh, we'll just focus on our defensive linemen swatting the ball out of the air. Or, like, linebackers just jumping up and grabbing picks. You can you can change players mid season, right? If that's the case then uh after after we finish tonight um off stream I'll I'll just lower it'll take me a while, but I'll lower everybody's ratings and jack up their heights. It's been a while, okay. I feel like my camera's a little too high. Why am I watching there to fix this when I should be watching there? There we go. I mean, if you can't see that I'm wearing the Oregon shirt, then what does it matter? We are at Arizona Stadium to take on the Wildcats. And we're going to lose the toss, but we'll receive the ball. No wind here in the state of Arizona today. The not so tall boys yet. And bring it out of the end zone. And how great would it be? Oh, <laughs> it stepped out of bounds. That's a good 35 yard return. Co Sky Woolworth coaching his first game at Western Arizona. I was looking through all the coaching like head models. Holy shit, none of them have necks. I don't understand it. I really don't. Let's go to the read option right off the bat. If I'm playing NCAA 14, I gotta cheese it a little bit, right? Looking at that defensive end. And the quarterback is gonna keep it. He had a bit of a problem. Kinda ran into the end, but stayed on his feet. Juked out the corner and got tackled. I think that was by a linebacker. That makes it first and, ten. and now that they think that we're gonna go to the ground. Yeah, the, the problem here with these players being, you know, 80s overall and only sophomore and freshman is that I think I don't want it to become super overpowered too quick so if we slaughter Arizona this game we're going to make some changes on the play action pass good to know my quarterback's not incredibly accurate and uh, Medley there just misses a wide open man maybe maybe I adjusted the sliders properly and, and our overall is not going to be too ridiculous second and ten from about midfield 
We're going to the air again. Uh, I've got A, and oh, we hit him wide open. It's Vincent to the 30, and inside the red zone on a 36-yard grab. Well, Medley made up for uh, that, that first down incompletion with a beautiful look on second down as we get to the 19-yard line on our first drive at the FBS level. We'll hand it off to R.J. Huff. He goes up the middle for a yard. Positive yards are better than negative, I guess. Although I'm not entirely happy with that, that play. Um, we'll try a read option here. And just really hope for the best. I have a feeling RJ's going to get this one again. No. It's Medley. He's got a block. He's inside the 10, and he's down at the 1, maybe the 2-yard line. <laughs> drafts are... How fast can a draft run? I feel like drafts aren't that slow. Speed of a giraffe. Well, that's hard to spell. 37 miles an hour. <laughs> Slow drafts my ass. We're going to be so fast. It's those long legs, dude. Like the strides might be looking like this. But when you're covering 50 feet per stride. Oh, we're going to fight people with our necks. Classic. Long ass tongues and whatnot. Thompson gets blown up in the backfield. The backup running back. Having a hard time with that one. It looked like I was going to have a chance to get in, but the hit from that like linebacker just to shove us back. <laughs> Half of a cheetah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bobby, they they uh, they draft on their own, the win resistance from their own necks. We'll hit Manning there for an easy touchdown. That was uh, a pretty simple pass. Poor coverage from the Wildcats. That's not surprising to me. Uh, who knows? Maybe, you know... Is anyone interested in sports betting? <laughs> I'm, having, I'm having ideas. Um... Utah beats our, our head coach's alma mater, Utah State, in their opening game, 42-21. to Maybe that's good news for us. We should be able to also take out Utah State. Number 23, back deep to return. I think maybe uh, we might have to do something where we, uh, we do a little bit of interesting sports betting. We'll see. Uh, I think, yeah, we're in a 4-2-5 defense. I'll be playing out of the nickel. This is uh, where we used to be. This is what I found peace with before, and I want to be in a man D to start out this series. If I could, uh, we'll see. It's going to be bad. I've never been good at playing defense in this game. I had some success the last time we were in it, but it's also been a while. Been a while since we uh, we have seen any sort of success. Cover two man. I like. I'm having a hard time just selecting the player I want to be. We hit the running back in the backfield for a loss of three. And uh, oh, this is gonna this is gonna take some time for me to get into. The mantities or man? How do you say mantity or manatee? Manatee. Yeah. Uh, I got completely burned there by the running back for 18 yards. Gary Brightwell made me look foolish. He lit me up. <laughs> uh, Arizona's across midfield. They're going to go with a play action and just throw the ball out right away. He was under no pressure. Just uh, Kevin Sumlin things, I guess. Uh, you know, I want to try... Just a little something that we used to do. If I can, come on, little linebacker pass rush. 
See if we can have the greatest linebackers in the world again. And maybe pick up a sack with Hendricks. Fighting Seacat. <laughs> oh, that's too good. I don't know if I've ever had a crazy... I mean, I guess the Ducks are kind of an interesting mascot. My elementary school was the Dolphins. But, let's see. Middle school was Wolves. Ooh. He threw that off my noggin. Khalil Tate. Getting hurt. Colton! How's it going? It has. Um... Welcome to uh, Western Arizona University. The giraffes. Uh, <laughs> you know, if I went and look, I think it was sometime in the spring. No. Maybe? It's, it's been a while. Third and nine for Arizona. Wildcats are surely going to convert this. Yeah, all day to throw. They find Brightwell, and he's in the end zone. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, FCS West knocks out South Alabama. And Hawaii takes out USC. I like that. I gotta say, I'm kind of a fan of the Rainbow Warriors. I didn't, Bobby. Oof. <laughs> oh, man, that's that's dark. Thompson, does he have the speed? Oh, what a return. <laughs> Thought I died. Oh man, that would be rough. Huff? How is it nice? Juke is we're back inside the red zone. I'm watching this one again. He kind of got his noggin wrapped up a bit, but that's not bad at all. I think it's just kind of, it was hard for me for a while to, to care about, uh, <laughs> it was hard for me to care that much about playing NCA 14 when we were in the like the darkest part of the off season. Uh, it's gonna be nuts when we have some of the like when our linemen are like six eight because they're gonna be like. Either they're going to be super skinny linemen who are just super tall, or they're just going to be like actual giants who are <laughs> just like 6'8", 400 pounds. Like an actual wall as uh, quarterback takes it in for a touchdown there. <laughs> Um, also, we maybe we do this as well in Pokemon fashion. I also have a uh, a second idea lined up that kind of complements this one. You know, you, you got a gold and silver. I've got a giraffes and uh, another team that we might get started soon as well. That will be maybe a little bit more interesting. I'll just have to actually set it up properly. <laughs> oh, they're going five wide. It's a pass, and I'm going to get tested. No, Khalil Tate brings it down. This is something that, oh, my gosh, what am I doing? What am I No. <laughs> something that Arizona did not do enough last year, which is run their great quarterback, and he just took off on me on the quarterback draw. That was... It was not good defense from us as they're across midfield. This could be a high-scoring game. And 
another first down and another 12 yards. Bryce Wolma, I think he, uh, he kicked ass last year. I'm not sure uh, what I can do right now to stop these guys. Short of a whole new defensive scheme. It's another first down, this time to Stan Stanley Barry Hill the third. Bobby, oh, I don't know. I, I literally have zero idea. Um, like, I, I would have bet on the game, but I just, I, I feel no confidence either way. Like, I, I just can't, I can't justify myself deciding on one team over the other. They go for another quarterback uh, draw there. Did not work out. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we could get a goal line stand. Who's, uh, who's going to be Miami's starting quarterback this year? Is it Perry? I know you had your <laughs> some some fun with Tathan. Oh, that's a good stop in the backfield. They're going to lose another two yards. Is, it, is Florida, are they ranked eight in the preseason? Oh, okay. Was, is Perry still at? Am, am I thinking of the right guy? Or is he just the second string? Oh, that was bad. A bad, bad miss. Okay. This is a terrible miss. Oh, I really, I don't know. I have a hard time. Uh, college football, there's so much turnover that, you know, one team that's incredible one year could potentially just shoot the bed the next year. And I feel like until you see, like, like week three, or by the time a team has played their third game, you can kind of figure out more accurately what's going to happen. That was a face mask, right? That was a terrible uh, return. <laughs> Fucking, oh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think... Martell is going to stay for much longer. He's, uh, he's having an interesting journey. That's for sure. He's getting a little bit memed on. Medley, five yards there on first down. Oh, can I? Can you do... Uh... We might have to. Uh, we might have to do a little something, something. I, I really, I really do think I've got an idea for us here. Uh, we're gonna roll out of the pocket and just wait a second. I might have thrown that a little late. No, Rooney! Oh, what a throw and what a grab! That's a big touchdown for the giraffes, the Mountain West newcomers. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I just like the the fact that uh, I saw you know someone mentioned that basically the coaches were like not only did he not get the first string spot but he's not even guaranteed second string like that's got to be rough at least he got some playing time at Ohio State. But I, I understand the decision to, to leave. I mean, if you're, if you're a, you know, any any player, you you want playing time. So I guess however he can find it, good for him. Oh, oh, of course. What? <laughs> I'm getting embarrassed right now. I don't have the chance to make the adjustment right now. Uh, we need to start focusing on the quarterback a little bit more. 
way that they're running the ball as they just completely whiff on the screen pass. It looked like the running back just didn't even realize that it was thrown his way. Let's make our adjustments. Um, option defense. Focus on the quarterback. Don't let him scramble. And I think we should be okay now. Pug Rock, how's it going? Welcome to the start of the lawn, boys. This is going to be maybe another draw, do we think? He's five wide. It's no draw, but Hendricks gets in there, forces the pressure. Tate's able to get the pass off. Nine yards there. Third and one. We're going to be at the end of the first quarter. And I... would like to get like a pole overlay, but we could just do a thing. I, <laughs> this, this is taking a lot of my, uh, you know, small amount of brain power. Uh, straw pole, that's what it's called. All, world, all the time in the world throw there for Kulite, he decides to run and we'll get the sack. I've not gotten Madden 20, Bobby. And Pug, we're doing, oh, all right, so, four. Oh, so far, can't speak today, but nothing new there. I still don't know if I can, uh, get a Madden game because I uh, I on one hand I am super super tempted to get it just so that I can take the Ducks to the to the national championship and play two two games of a new college football experience that was a horse collar by the way on the other hand I just don't like the the animations and the way that the game looks like it's too arcadey for me it's I think from what I've seen, it looks a little bit better than last year. But, like, just the way that people run, it's too bouncy. It's There's just something odd. I'm not a fan. Also, I don't at all like, like Ultimate Team stuff. As Bobo. <laughs> Nehemiah Bobo. <laughs> Is, uh... Just rocking it out. Bobby, how'd you hurt your ankle? That's that's a tough one. We're near the air again here on first and ten, and just an easy pass to the running back. We're we're moving the football so easily right now. It really ain't no thing. Okay. Time, 15 seconds, beautiful. Let's get off this read option. Medley's gonna keep it, and we'll just slide down, avoid anything crazy. Ooh. Oof. Oof. I am. Oh. You can spare me any more details, because I am terrible with, uh, yeah. Terrible with injuries and injury details. Like, I, uh, my fiance once, like, cut her thumb on a can, and to the point where, like, I had to take her to the, like, urgent care to get it stitched. And just, like, she was like, hey, I need you to come home and, and drive me to, to the urgent care. I cut my thumb. And she was fine the whole time. And I got home and I saw her thumb and I was passed out. It's it's not good. There's a good quarterback keeper right there. No, I don't want to. I really don't. <laughs> oh, that would be brutal. I might have to go away from the option. This is too cheese. Or I just instantly 
go and start making everybody uh, the way that we want them to be. Everybody gets an elective surgery to increase their length. Wait a second. That's not what I meant. Um, and they their legs become longer. <laughs> We're gonna make them tall. They'll lose some stats. But this should be more of a struggle than just walking into Arizona and starting to put the smack on them. We're up seven. Three minutes left in the second. We're gonna go for this. <laughs> just all neck. Could you imagine? <laughs> oh, it would be disgusting. Fourth and three. We gotta go to the air. I. Tried to take a step back, but I took one too many. Uh, didn't really have anybody open. I think a couple guys were about to come free, it looked like, but it's not a good sack to take on, on fourth down and inside the 10, and I'm expecting them to go passing here. First and 10 from the 12. It's going to take a miracle for us to get a safety, but we'll try our hardest. Hendricks, no. We've given them all day to throw. They hit Castile. Inside the 35, or across the 35. Just rough. They're going to pass all over us here. Three minutes left. That should be a sack. No. Tate escapes. He's able to slide down after getting a gain of four yards. He's got some speed. He's got some real speed. third and inches at least they didn't get the first down we're getting just like kind of embarrassed that's how I feel right now maybe a blitz is what's needed third and inches they go to the ground we hit him in the backfield but he fell forward for the first down oh that's rough My safety's like a mile away from his guy. They've got the running back wide open. And uh, Jonathan Taylor. I think it's Jonathan. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. JJ Taylor, anyways. Picks up a first down. Uh, I think that I'm going to have allowed them to score awfully quickly here. 216 left in the half. All their timeouts. They're going to hand it off up the middle. And what a hole. So our offense is really good, but our defense. Seems to be pretty atrocious at the moment. At least that doesn't need adjusting. Let's try, uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. Let's try a little zone. Maybe the cover three is, is what we need and our man defense is just awful. First to 10, screen, oh! That looked like it was about to be jumped. I think that was uh, Newberry. And he just barely missed it, couldn't quite get in there. Bad timing on his part. Second and four, and the light of fire skill is active for Arizona. Not good for us. A minute and 57, and two timeouts. If they score, I'm hoping it's quick. Good for them. <laughs> the Leo Tate is now 11 of 14 for 159 yards here in the first half. Luckily, we already had the lead, so they're just tying it up here, and we'll have plenty of time and plenty of timeouts to hopefully march down the field. Um, so far, we've had really good kick returns. I'd like to see another good one. We just have to have a good placement, left or right, maybe? Perfect. Off to the side, we'll have RJ Huff stick out there as an extra blocker, and oh. Ooh, that was a nice little back juke. It just only got him a, maybe a yard extra. Not quite enough. Uh, we're going four verts on first down. Uh, I want Huff. Actually, let's have Huff wheel out. And we're going to... Actually, no, we're going to do what one of my old standbys. Rooney, you're going to cut across underneath the other three receivers. And... Ooh, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. 
I don't know if, what kind of arm Medley has, so we're just going to take off, get that 13 yards, and get out of bounds. <laughs> oh, that's, that's yeah, absolutely. The f same uh, head coach, though, right? <laughs> oh, if, if they just were a little bit smarter with the way that they used him, Arizona would have been so much more of a threat last year and could be this year. Five wide, not who I wanted to throw it to, but Rooney has already got one rushing or one receiving touchdown today. I didn't know if he was going to be able to get that. Bit of a long bomb, and uh, we're going to come down with it inside the red zone with a minute and 35. So I've actually got to maybe burn a little bit of clock off. I'm going to put it on the ground on this play. Minute and a half to get 18 more yards. Medley. Says no problem. He picks up 12 of it. It's a first and goal. And uh, doesn't seem like it's going to be a problem. We can take all the time that we need. Pug, who do you think's winning that game? Wouldn't happen to be from Florida. <laughs> Because that's pretty common here. A minute, second and goal. I'd like to just go with this inside zone. Hand it off up the middle and, and hope for the best. That didn't work out the way we wanted. Third and goal now. Um... Try a counter. 30 seconds. <laughs> of course, Pug, I, I, how everybody, everybody's a fan of a team in Florida. RJ Huff gets into the end zone on the counter. It's kind of a double counter for him. 32-24. I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Absolutely crazy how many people, how many Floridians find their way in here. <laughs> 28 21, we got to prevent them from scoring here. I feel all alone on the West Coast. <laughs> but it seems like it's always happening. Uh, let me open up that. And do this. I need another monitor. I really do. Actually, all I need is like a Oh, no. They don't want to go for it. They don't want to get risky, although they'll take the time out. I need, like, a VGA cable just so I can get one extra little screen up for some small stuff that would make it easier. Um, I can't say that the cover three was doing us any uh, benefits. It'll be interesting. They got a man open, couldn't knock him out of bounds. 14 seconds, J.J. Taylor gets a, another one. <laughs> Makes sense. For me, it's not super late streams, but it's a, it sucks. Because sometimes it's like I'll want to stream, but I'm not able to at like a, a normal time for the East Coast. And then it's like by the time I get on here, it's like it's 7 o'clock for me. But it's already 10 o'clock on the East Coast. It's just brutal. That should have been a sack. But Blanks is going to get the pick. We got nine seconds to do something. Ooh. <laughs> so, oh. I see. So you're, you're going to not sleep for what? Like a month and a half? <laughs> just jokes. Just memes, I swear. <laughs> Uh, all right, Huff, uh, sit back, 
Vincent. See if you can get out there. T nine seconds. We got maybe two shots downfield. I'm looking at Rooney. Oh, I should have hit Y. Rooney can't get up. We just give it back to them, but with hopefully worse field position. No! <laughs> the quarterback saving it. Yikes! Pug, I'm a, I'm a Ducks fan. I, I got another week until I get to see my team hopefully start a uh, Pac-12 championship run and, and a little bit beyond. <sighs> Number 23, set to return. That was terrifying. Oh, 28-21 Arizona with the ball. We've run two more plays and have gotten a lot more total yards. Arizona seems to be uh, a little bit more interesting with how they're running it. From the 25, we, we need some stuff. To go right here on defense. And that's not it. Oh my gosh, their backfield is looking way too good right now. This is kind of brutal. I'd be curious to see what kind of changes we can make to, to be successful here. I don't know what defensive shift I just made. It worked out well enough though. I accidentally hit a button. I think I shifted everybody to the right. Who cares? Second to nine is the result. I, I really am liking this uh, this zone. I'm not having a whole lot of luck rushing this linebacker off the edge I, as I get a sack. I think that's the second of the game, and we'll bring up a third and 16. Oof. Oof. We know it's going to be a pass. Can we stop it? Hendricks. Getting a little pressure. We got a hit on the quarterback, and ooh, Lewis Bird gets his hands on that one. I don't know if he would have landed in bounds, but that's a great play from the safety to bring up the to bring the punt team out, and we'll see what we can do to return this. That was that was a good uh, defensive possession from us. As we're gonna make sure that. We pick up at least one block. Thompson going to the outside. He's got a little bit of room as he tries to get to the edge, and we're almost at midfield with a chance to make this a two-score game. Uh, have you seen the new ones this year? Oh, my gosh. First off, they're very similar to last year's, but way better. In uh, what they're calling Nightmare Green, the, like the dark, super dark green ones, are so fucking sick. <laughs> I, oh man, oh, good old Michigan State. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're good, Michigan State. First and ten, play action. I'm gonna have to scramble on this one, and we'll throw it away. I gotta look up some stuff. Uh... <laughs> oh. Such a difference. Let's go with the slip screen here. On second down, ooh, I did that to the wrong side of the field. Eight seconds left. I don't wanna have to burn a timeout here. Running back. I don't honestly like what's, what I'm seeing here. We're going to throw downfield and find Rooney again inside the 10. That might be the one of the first times I've ever run a halfback slip screen and not thrown it to the halfback. And also, like, not gotten sacked. 
that was uh, unorthodox for the play call. Sky Woolworth has shown that he trusts his quarterback and will let him make decisions, apparently. 75% efficiency in the red zone. We had a, a foolish mistake. At this first and goal, we are looking for the end zone. Medley with the nice juke. He breaks the ankles of two men. And just, just embarrasses him. I, uh, I've been playing on a wired controller, Pug. Mostly because the wireless controller, which I don't... exactly know where it is oh yeah dude it's back there my wireless controller when I get mad and uh, you know hit the desk with it it disconnects and that can be problematic sometimes <laughs> but you know shit happens this controller certainly doesn't have a big chunk missing right here Or maybe it does. I I don't know. I really hate doing captures. I don't know about you guys, but I've never I've never done a capture and felt good about it. Uh, captures. They ruin everything. How are you supposed to get your password wrong multiple times in a row if you have to enter a, a captcha for every attempt? Great run there for JJ Taylor. Right off the bat. I it, it, the day uh, there's there's two games. I don't even know if I, I was going to say there's two games that I would pre-order instantly and, and a new NCAA game would be one of them, but I don't know if I can say that. We should blitz here probably. They run up the middle. Oof, I hit the wrong hole. And then they break a tackle. And then they break another tackle. It's up to uh, somebody. Oh my gosh, just making me look foolish there. Um, what, no, why? Oh my gosh, what's going on? I'm trying to do, I'm trying to log into things and they just won't let me. <sighs> One second. Ugh. And yeah, e EA uh, putting it out is the reason that I wouldn't pre-order. Just because, like, I, I don't know how they would necessarily do it, but I can absolutely see them trying to put in a... Uh, Um, I can see them put, trying to put in like an ultimate team and I don't know how they would do it but it would just be sad. Good blocking here. Thompson, we've had great returns today. Such beautiful attempts. <sighs> Alright, up a touchdown here in the third quarter about midway through. We just got to keep the pressure on and maybe start burning clock. We're going to go with a slant, though, on first down. Man, I'm having to scramble a lot. We've got Rooney again on the late slant. Another 17 yards. Waylon Rooney, four receptions for 172 yards for the guy. That's just incredible. Uh, we're going to audible into a read option here, first and 10. That's a, that's a weak side over there. And Medley is going to have basically, oh, I thought it was going to be one man to beat, and he had him beat, but the corner was just barely able to hold on to him and bring it down. Only eight yards. <laughs> 16 carries for 147. 
And that's including the uh, the sacks, which take away rushing yards. Second and two. Let's have uh, R.J. Huff run to that right side and pick up the first down for us. They can't all be big plays. That one keeps the clock moving, and I'm not quite ready to go into the conservative tempo, but I think we're getting there. 3.40 left in the quarter. And just that juke is just brutal. Oh, that was mean. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I, I agree. Oof. That was, that was too easy. We're gonna have we're gonna have to make this team a little bit more shitty. It's gonna take me a while though. I might just do starters. We'll see. Make our second string essentially the first string. 42-28. Up 14 in uh, pure in Arizona. Good old Tucson. There we go. I finally was able to log in where I needed to. See what we can get. First and ten, they're gonna go to the ground and <laughs> what is he? No! He's not down! Oh my gosh, I, I've had flashbacks. This has happened to me before. <laughs> First off, he just said no to my, uh... <laughs> he said no to my, my lineman there. And then just laid on back of the other guy. Oh, I thought he was going to stand back up and keep running. We've, we've seen that in the past, and it's, it's always terrifying. Second and 12. And... I'm going to put it to Booby Curry. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Uh, for the relatively easy first down. I want to bring some pressure here. Let's bring these safeties in. Get that pressure. We'll hit Tate, but he's able to get rid of it. And, oh my gosh, Taylor with the double stiff arm. And then he just has to get knocked out of bounds. He's not even tackled. Oh, he's strong. It's incredible. Another first and ten for Arizona. That's a screen. Oh, should have been picked off by Berg. He almost got on one earlier, but it's there for the quick stop. I can't complain about that. Second and ten. The, uh, the play calling for Arizona is maybe a little bit suspect at times right now. As they go straight back to another screen and they're going to lose two yards. Oh, and that they just kind of got unlucky with the animation stuff because if he just quickly spins out and, you know, runs towards the sideline and gets north, that's a that's a big gain, but he's kind of he's kind of screwed there. Third and 12. Being my man still. It should be a pass. We know that. Question is can we get pressure on Tate? And the answer is yes. But we can't get the tackles. It's going to be a fourth and short. Our coverage is certainly lacking. But they choose the punt formation. Down 14 points late in the third. We're going to go ahead and be in the... Uh, uh, I guess just a normal punt block. I wanted to be in a, in a safe zone, but I haven't seen this playbook in a little bit too long, so it's going to take me a while to navigate these. Uh, we'll let this bounce in the end zone, hopefully. Oh my gosh, that ball died. That second bounce went almost nowhere. But we get lucky and it does go into the end zone. We'll be out at the 20-yard line with a chance to burn some more clock. Minute and 46 this time. 
Are you kidding me? Uh, we're not going to pick up a block on the final guy to beat. I don't think Medley. No, he will have the speed. That's another one play drive, and this quarterback is. It's not. <laughs> uh, I just want to show. I think it's in strategy. Right? We're on Heisman right now. Um, I have what I have considered to be pretty difficult sliders. But, uh... <laughs> Oof. These Wildcats are just getting boomed right now. Oh, I'm digging it. Trying to get things set up the rest of the way. Apparently, I forgot to do some stuff. So, Arizona's kind of getting a little bit lucky. Why can't I find what I want to find? I accidentally just went into a cover four. <laughs> but we get a big hit, and they only pick up a couple yards. Um, all right, I might have to take a time out here. No, we're fine, we're fine. Able to make the change quick enough. Although I screwed up my uh, the way my man was moving there when the ball was snapped. They'll have a third and one. I imagine they keep this hurry up going because it's working pretty well for them. Let's go in the nickel normal, two man under. It's gonna be a run. Oh, I think I was way offside. And we're going to get hit with a face mask anyways. <laughs> Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Automatic first down. That's that's not great. <laughs> Four wide with a receiver. 45 seconds left in the third. The, the best news right now is that we're up big. We're up 21. I'm not too worried about this game. And that was a solid hit. Don't want that. Ooh! Can we look at how badly this man just got boomed? Right? They're thinking, oh, perfect. We got a two-on-one for the screen here. I didn't think we were going to look good. He's got to get through the man. First off, I don't know what this guy's doing catching the ball like it's like a bullet hitting him. Ooh. But then he just gets launched. He gets hit with that forearm. And gets sent way back. Look at him, he's still moving. He got launched five yards. <laughs> oh, could you imagine being him? Quarterback throws that one away. That looked like it was about to be a screen. So maybe he saw something instantly that terrified him. I don't 
don't think I can get back in time to grab this when they're short. Or they can just miss anyways. Oh, this is too easy. I am kind of a Dodgers fan. I could do this the way that I want to. I really do. Uh, oh, is it back? What the hell was that? <laughs> my internet just I've never had that happen I look down and it's like oh stream disconnected attempting to, to reconnect that's a big F right there oh my gosh I'm having all sorts of problems at the moment apparently disconnected from uh, Xbox Live though <laughs> Oh, goodness. That's rough. Uh, we're not... I, I'm getting lost now on what I'm supposed to be doing, which is burning clock. <laughs> We've got rid of almost a minute here this fourth quarter. I need to get that conservative tempo on just so I can end this one. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Of course things can't go right. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the follow, Pug. Stop all the downloading. I'm not even trying to run well right now. Travis Thompson gets 10 yards there. This is our backup. It's just a, a Arizona, and maybe, maybe who knows? This is what we see uh, tomorrow when they play Hawaii. But these are updated rosters for this year, so. The, the most recent ones off Operation Sports. Who knows? Maybe this is what we see out of the Wildcats. Who knows? Read option. I still want to try to figure out what's going on with my with my shiz. I'm having a hard time though. Second and five. Quarterback keeper again, and honestly, I'm trying to burn the clock. We're just going to slide down here, take the third and one, keep the clock moving. Oh. Hey, there's never any worries. Why is that the way it is? Um, trying to get some stuff working properly. But it doesn't seem to want to do what I'm wanting it to do. Running it on third and one. Just got to... Okay, we'll run it again on, on fourth and inches. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out some stuff with... Oh, I guess we'll kick a field goal. Why not? Got to give our kicker a little confidence for the season. Oof! <laughs> I didn't realize my kicker couldn't hit that. It was like a, what, like a less than 40 yarder. Ooh, that's brutal. That's real brutal. Guess I'm playing the safety here. So they kind of go out towards the edge, and nice gang tackling. Gary Brightwell only picks up a uh, a yard on that. I'm having such a hard time right now. I really am. I need to do a little Google search. 
Hendricks, third sack of the game. the answer that I needed. Settings, please. We know it's a screen, I just can't get over there. Berg gets a nice tackle for us anyways. Ah, I'm not meaning to go silent like this. <laughs> I'm really not. Uh, I'm just having a hard time multitasking at the minute. Um, I don't know, Pug. Uh, we ha I haven't streamed. I don't know why I'm saying we. It's a royal we, I guess. I haven't streamed in a while. We used to do maybe a couple hours uh, every day or every couple days. This should be a pick, right? Oh, Berg. That's two swats for him. Um... But I'm not sure what, we're, what we'll be doing through this college football season. Um, we'll probably just play the one game today so that I can uh, set the raw. <laughs> I didn't mean to get a, I didn't mean to get that flag. I'm really confused. <laughs> First down. We'll probably just do this one game today so that I can go through and edit this roster and make it um, what we want it to be, which is worse players but much taller. Um, and then apparently I have some other stuff I have to figure out. Um, but I will likely be on tomorrow at some point um on saturdays during when i and sometimes like thursdays depending on how many games there are uh i try not to stream while games are going just because i want to watch the games other people want to watch the games if somebody wants to watch me but they also want to watch a game they're going to choose the game so it's just easier usually if i wait until later in the day um, and if I if I stream on like a college game day, it's going to be later, if at all. But otherwise, through the week, it's uh, you know every every now and then. Um, right now, I your only option is to hope that somebody else has made a pugs um, on Xbox through like one of the settings menus at the main menu you can search for team builder teams um, the website that they created to make teams hasn't been working for like I don't know almost a year now probably more than a year actually um, so unless somebody has made a team I didn't make this team I actually got lucky when I first started streaming I ended up um, ended up making a a team like right before the the website went down. <sighs> How's it going, hybrid? We uh we are accidentally stomping these guys. Ooh, that was a really good screen. That was such a good, like, little chop block. To free up Trey Adams. Khalil Tate's having one hell of a game. I don't I don't know if I've ever seen him be so accurate before. 23 of 30 for a couple hundred yards. And he's done a, a solid amount on the ground as well. This is going to be a pass. They're, I guess they're probably only going to pass. There's 19 seconds left. How did he squeeze that one in there? Son of a bitch. <laughs> I just want to get one big hit on him or another pick before he ends this. We let him back across midfield. I don't know. Are they going to take a timeout after this? No, they aren't. Okay. Arizona's given up 
Last five seconds are going to come off the clock and uh, Western Arizona and their head coach Sky Woolworth are going to uh, leave Tucson with a win under their belt. And it's a Power 5 opponent in their out-of-conference schedule. Uh, a little bit easier than I was expecting it to be. So I've got some adjustments to make. I've got to figure out some other stuff on the back end. <laughs> That's petty. That's petty as shit. <laughs> Oh. Well, I I need to make some some decisions about something. I might try to throw in and we'll see. Uh I might try to throw in a little bit of uh sports betting into the stream. I just have to figure out the way that I want to do it, but uh, hybrid this uh, this this team is not at the moment because I've got to edit the players. Um, but this team is going to be all uh, six, seven, and taller. Um, it sometimes does in this game. I think most of the time. Uh, our recruiting, uh, it's going to be interesting. For now, I, I can, I guess I can spend our points. We are still just scouting people to figure out kind of what we want. I know that we want to throw all our points that we can at Joseph Horton because if we can manage to snag a five-star, uh, six-foot-eight tight end, then we're going to be real good. We'll see if maybe we find a gem further down. Let's go all the way down to Tyrone Tate here with scouting for the week and then we can throw points into some other guys. I don't want to spend all our points on on non-scouted guys. Let's look at who we have the lead with or who we're not so far behind. We'll throw a lot of points their way. Because right now I just have to get tall players on the team. 6-8, man. All these guys. Look at... I don't know if I can give points to Robbie Baker. Look at that soul patch. Dude would be from Nebraska. Like, he's the only person. I didn't even know that you could have a shitty little soul patch in this game. I guess John kind of has one. He's just... He's added a little bit more. How's, who's our fattest guy? 316? I, I didn't even think about that. 321? 3... Oh, no. 321. That was... Yeah. 321. Numbers are hard for me right now. I can't, uh, I can't lie about that. 336. Oh, Darren. <laughs> the number six tackle. He's likely going to go to Ohio State. Who, who am I kidding? But 6'7", 336 pounds is, is pretty damn big. What's strong safety? Tyrone? Oh, I'm going to have to remember how to play this game again. Uh, I guess I probably... I mean, a lot of our receivers are going to be converted tight ends. But I guess I don't necessarily need to put quite as much into a lot of these guys. Let's, uh, let's check real quick by... Overall, and I do agree about the the strong safety, especially because he's six seven, and also the number eight strong safety. 
Um, there might be. I, there is, but they were like two stars, so they're just not on the board yet. But there's not a there's not a whole lot of guys. Oh, oh, that took a while. Three, three guys. They're all one stars. My bad. Uh, one of them is a Juco guy, so he's probably uh, he's still pretty bad. Fifty-one overall. <laughs> They're all six-seven. Um. Yeah, not not necessarily the greatest bunch. If we could get any of these top guys, four star or up, that would be great. But uh, Tyrone Tate could be huge. He's only a 65 overall, but when you're six seven as a safety, that's pretty impressive. A lot of a lot of offensive guy, line or a lot of not offensive, just a lot of line guys. Tight ends, tackles, ends, linebackers, guards. <laughs> I don't know where we're going to get our running backs from. Uh, oh, that's right. I remember that. I do remember on your, like, one star whatever, right? Because your wide receivers would just be doing a lot better. I do remember that. Uh, like this guy is. Give us a thing. It's catching. He has a D, but because it's his main stat, yeah, that's not bad. That's we we might pick up some guys six seven for for some wide receivers. I'll have to figure out a lot of stuff, anyways. But so much of it. I mean, thankfully. Unlike the Juco shit, it's actually easy to find all the guys available. Um, so it'll make it a lot easier to find what we're looking for <laughs> and sort through guys. Oh, that Juco stuff is just like hours of scrolling through this menu. Um, I think, I mean, tech, we've, we've allocated our points. I'll, I'll get a little bit more. On the next one, yeah. At least, at least with the JUCO stuff, I can just see, like, I instantly know. Probably. Oh, number eight, Florida. I'm curious to see if they won their their first game in this. Oh. Hybrid, do, who do you have one in the big game, or both games, to uh, tomorrow? Because I have absolutely no idea on either of them. Like I wanna, I wanna be able to say that Arizona should should beat uh, <laughs> the Arizona should beat Hawaii, but I also don't at all feel confident in saying that. Especially because they're, I don't think they're huge favorites. Um. Let me look at the odds real quick. Ooh, we got some Canadian football live right now. The Edmonton Blue Bombers and the... Or the Edmonton Eskimos and the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. <laughs> I don't suppose we leveled up. Uh, Florida's right now favored by 7.5. And, and Arizona's favored by 11. Ugh. Oh, Florida moved up to five. That'll be fun. We'll probably play this either, well, depending on what my morning looks like, either early tomorrow or late tomorrow. And I'll figure out some more recruiting stuff. <laughs> um, we haven't leveled up, we're close. We are 35 points away from leveling up, so that'll help a ton. So I'll probably do our recruiting after we play this game so that I can get that level up and make the scouting a little bit better. ESPN's not going to care about us. And uh, I'm going to have to go through and do a lot of...